Hi, today we're talking about the math class. So the math class has two important methods uh, that uh, we're going to use today. One is the uh, POW method, which is short for uh, power. We're taking the power of something, so this is a good way to uh, find uh, exponents. And then we're also going to be using the uh, square root method. Um, today we're also going to be using what's known as a static field, uh, and uh, we're going to be using the, the PI static field with the math class. So let's go ahead and jump in to NetBeans, and uh, the code um, for the demo today is going to be provided for you, so all you have to do is just, uh, you know, create a, uh, a program, um, a Java class called uh, crow3 underscore 013 underscore math class demo, and then copy and paste the code, the demo code that's provided for you into uh, NetBeans. So let's, let's look at the code that we have here, let's break it down. Right here I have my class header, notice how my, um, bra my brace here matches the brace down here. Inside that I have my main method, and notice how the brace right here matches the brace down here. And inside my main method, we've got our meat and vegetables. So we, uh, right here, we've got our uh, declaration of variables, and I've declared one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven double variables that I created. One's called DBL number, the other's called DBL number two. I've got DBL power one. DBL power 2, DBL square root 1, DBL square root 2, and DBL pi number. Okay, so here's how we're going to use these. Uh, the second thing we're going to do in this program is we're going to initialize the variables. So we take DBL number 1, we set it equal to 5. So now 5 is inside the variable DBL number 1. And now we take DBL number 2, set it equal to 3. So DBL number 2 is now 3. And now we're going to find uh, the answer here using exponents. So we are go we what we want to do is we want to take 5, and we want to uh, find 5 to the third power, the equivalent, the equivalent of this. And how you do that in Java is the following. You use the math class. You say math.pow. Um, so you use the pow method here. And inside these uh, parentheses, you would list uh, DBL number 1 which is 5, and then you would give it the exponent that you want to raise it to, which is 3, 5 to the third power. So DBL number 1, which is 5, to DBL number 2, which is 3, so 5 to the third power uh, is, I think that's a 125, right? 5 times 5 times 5. So this method right here would find 5 to the third power and throw that answer into DBL power 1. So this instruction right here is we're going to print whatever DBL power 1 is uh, to the screen. So right here we're uh, printing 125 to the screen. Next, right here, DBL power 2. I'm taking math.pow and this time I'm just uh, placing the number 5 uh, and I'm placing the number 3 in here and I'm just saying math.pow 5 to the third um, uh, power is 125. That's going to go into DBL2. And so this statement right here is going to print 125. So this, uh, these statements right here and these statements right here are doing the same thing, only except right here I'm using variables. Okay, let's cover uh, square roots. So DBL square root equals math dot square root DBL power 1. So I'm taking, um, I'm sorry, DBL power 1, which uh, is 125 and I'm going to find the square root of that. So to do that, I just say, uh, I just put this variable inside here, and I'm using this uh, my math class along with the square root method to uh, find the square root of whatever DBL power 1 is. So right here, it's gonna, I think it comes to maybe 11 something. It's going to put that answer into DBL square root, and then I'm printing DBL square root to, um, to the screen. Uh, right here, I'm going to um, do that with the number 25. So the square root of 25 right here is going to be 5. That's going to go into DBL square root 2, and then this is going to print to the screen. Right here, I'm using our static uh, static field. So pi right here, when I, when I say math.pi, uh, pi is actually a value that the math class contains, 3.14 to whatever it is. Um, so this value right here is actually 3.14 times 1, and it's going to return whatever, you know, 3.14, whatever it is, into DBL pi number. So when I print this to the screen, it's going to say uh, 3.14159, uh, whatever it is. So if I come over here, right click, and if I say run, notice down here, here are my, here are my results. So for the first thing that we did here, 
we were taking 5 to the third power, so 5 to the third power is 125. And that's what this printed down here, 125. Right here, we uh, did it just with the numbers instead of the variables. So the answer again was 125, and that's what it printed again. So here I took the square root of dBl power 1, which is 125, and it came out to be 11. 0.180339 and then I took the square root of 25 and that came out to be of course 5. Here I used our uh, pi constant so math.pi 3.14.159 times 1 and I put that value into dbl pi number and then I printed that to the screen and this was our result. So again Today we used uh, the math class, we used the pow power method, we also used the square root method, and we used our static field uh, to d demonstrate how we uh, can use the math class uh, in our programs. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you next time.